And we're back with Nosing Around with Mandy and Tony. Now we are going to feature a, an event that also takes place here in Sunset Beach, North Carolina. It is the Sunset at Sunset Festival in October. Um, here with us today, we have Lois McClellan, who is part of the steering committee here. Hi, Lois. Hi. And um, we'd like to welcome you to our show. Oh, thank you so um, much. We'd like for you to tell us a little bit more about this. Um, it's a community block party, is that right? It is. Um, this has been, this is our seventh year. Uh, this particular year, it's at uh, October 5th. It's a one-day event from 10 until 5, but we have a lot of other things going on as well. Early the morning of the uh, festival, there's going to be a 5K run that will go over the New Man and Gore Bridge. Cool. Um, and then we have a photo contest for people, but we'll get into that a little bit further into the, uh, the, the interview, if it's okay with you. That's great. Okay. I do want to stress that it's a free event, and that's a wonderful thing. People can come out here and bring their lawn chairs, their, their, their pets, and just enjoy what we have to offer. Uh, each year we have about a hundred vendors. Uh, some are um, nonprofits, which we're glad to have and, and uh, have them out here with us telling about what they do and what they offer in the community. Who are some of the nonprofits? Uh, well, we have um, Pausability, uh, the VFW, the Lions Club, um, Canine Angels, and I'm afraid I'm going to miss somebody if I go any yeah. further, but it's a wonderful group of uh, nonprofits out here. And of course, the Old Bridge Preservation Society is out here okay. with us every Now, year. Lois, we're standing here outside Ingram Planetarium today. This is the location. It's right here beside the planetarium where this block party takes place, correct? It is, yes. And as I mentioned, there's going to be a uh, photo contest we have every year. And the um, entries will be uh, on display inside the planetarium so people can go in there and see uh, what our, our, how much talent we have in our county here. Uh, how do, how do we enter the contest or is there a certain theme that if, if I'm a photographer I would need to pick? We do have a theme and it's called uh, Objects of Carolina Beaches. Uh, this year we're asking that um, not to have people in the pictures, but anything that may be an object on the beach that's going to be of interest to the photographer and the public. Uh, they, uh, they're on uh, 8 by 10 and if you do want to uh, have an application, you can go online at www.sunsetatsunset.com. I'll have to enter that. I've got some good pictures of alligators over at Oyster Bay. <laughs> good for you. Good for you. So now, um, on top of having nonprofits here and um, a photo contest and a 5K, you guys also offer entertainment, is right? That's right, we do. We have two stages, um, actually. Um, Brunswick Big Band is with us. Uh, they've been doing it uh, many years now. Uh, and the local vocalist, Linda Ladrick, will be singing. Right. And then a little bit later in the day, we're going to have the imitations. And they're what wow. we call local because they're out of Wilmington. Right. Um, and they play a good variety of music and they get people all excited and some of them get up and dance. But they will be taking breaks throughout the day. That gives people an opportunity to walk around to the different vendors and see what we have to offer. Now, I see here you've set up a table. Um, let's talk about your vendors a little bit. It looks okay. like you've brought some of the products of some of the vendors you've had in the past and who will be returning this year. That's correct, and this is just a small sampling. Like I say, we'll have about 100 vendors out here. Um, Silver Coast Winery, uh, they'll be a, a repeat vendor for us, uh, tastefully simple. We'll have book signings out here, jewelry, uh, preserves and jams and um, gift baskets. Uh, Old Bridge Preservation uh, will have a booth out here, and of course that's one of their cookbooks that they have published. Uh, I want to uh, be sure to mention our t-shirts. Uh, each year we have t-shirts and sweatshirts at our welcome booth. So uh, we want to make sure that everybody comes by their welcome booth and, and at least takes a look at our t-shirts, hopefully take one home with them. Over here I have a tote bag. This was last year's tote bag. Uh, we, we give these away uh, to our attendees and all the names that you see displayed on the bag our uh, sponsors for us. Awesome. Uh, we, we couldn't make it without our local sponsors, um, businesses, banks, um, just lots, lots of good folks that, that do come forward. Uh, you'll be, um, you'll see this on the bag here. 
uh, the town of Sunset Beach and uh, some, like I say some of the local stores and grocery stores but this year we're giving away a tote bag a little bit different design to the first 1,000 people that come. Well, that's neat. Now so you mentioned that these items were going to be at a welcome booth. Right. And also at the welcome booth I mean you'll have a chance to meet the committee members as well as other town officials right? Right. Right next door to our welcome booth which is um, near the entrance of uh, Sunset Boulevard, <clears throat> the town of uh, Sunset Beach will have a booth. At their booth you can meet uh, local police officers, town officials, talk with the um, town council people. It's a great time for people to ask any questions they may have or get additional information about the area. And the fire department actually comes and brings a fire truck, especially for kids to be able to see and see what they do, is that right? Yeah, that's right. And they will be at that same entrance off um, Sunset Boulevard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of kids, Last year you had something new to the festival. It was last year, right? Yes, it was. We, and mm -hmm. You're expanding this year? We are. We, we thought, you know, we don't have much for the kids. This was in the past, so we thought, let's get these kids out here and give them a good time. So we have um, a whole kids area that comes in uh, right behind the, um, well, I'm going to say behind the planetarium, that entrance that comes in. Uh, by Bank of America mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to have even for the young and the young at heart candy apples cotton candy funnel cakes just some fun stuff some uh, inflatables the kids can get in and play in there and just let the parents wander around and enjoy the afternoon themselves that's oh that's awesome. great so is it an area where you can actually drop your kid off and let them play or do the parents need to be with them? Well, if they're inside a, an inflatable or something, you know, they're, they're, they're gonna be well entertained. But of course, uh, the people that put those things up are not responsible for the children. Right. So we wouldn't wanna put them in that position. Right, right. Yeah, okay. Well, th this sounds great. Um, now you say you've, the festival's been around for the past seven years. This is right? the seventh year. And it started out actually out on the beach, did it not? It did. The very first year was over at Sunset Beach, right? And, and it's grown from there, yeah. which is a wonderful thing. Uh, but I, I want to be sure that I mention all of our volunteers. We have such wonderful volunteers that come out here. They help us man the booths. They help with parking, uh, setting up tables and chairs. And our wonderful little Boy Scout group comes in late in the afternoon and help with the cleanup. So they're, they're a real asset well, as great. well. That's Lois, great. With all that said, is there a website that folks can go to for more information or a phone number, any contact information that we can give our viewing audience today to help them get more information than what we've shared with them today in our show? Yes, actually there is. Uh, as I mentioned, the website is www.sunsetatsunset.com or if uh, interested parties can call the, uh, the town hall as well. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, well we thank you for your time and being out here with us today. It's my pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure. So thanks for coming out and nosing around with Mandy and Tony. I'm nosing around with Mandy and Tony.